Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Bones by Imagine Dragons. Okay? First thing you hear is you hear the keyboard come in with, um, with a couple F chords, octaves. We're going to skip that. Um, it's, just, it's just F. So even playing an F chord really isn't quite right. It's just a couple low Fs and octaves. So um, this is when the words start, you know, like the verse. So it's, um, it's a B flat minor da, 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 to an F chord. And then an A flat chord, da, 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 an E flat, da, 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 B flat minor, da, 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 F, da, 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 A flat, da, 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 and then E flat. So that's that first part. It's real important because it comes up a lot. Uh, if you can do those four chords in a row, you've got the whole song. You just have to know, you know, when to cut out and and different rhythms to play. I'm just hitting them once. It's really all the keyboard's doing. Okay. So let's go over your chords. You bar the first fret, uh, top three strings, and then you hook this guy in on the fourth string, third fret. That's a B flat minor chord. Then you're going to need an F chord, which is the second string, first fret, and the fourth string, uh, sorry, second string, first fret, yes, and fourth string, second fret. That's an F. Then I'm going to bar the third fret, the top three strings, uh, and then second string, fourth fret also. And then I'm going to hook the third finger up on the fourth string, one, two, three, four, fifth fret. That's an A flat chord. Then, uh, then you need an E flat chord. First string, first fret, third string, and second string at the third fret, open fourth string. That's my E flat. Those are all the chords you need for the song. And uh, really, if you can play that progression, you can figure it out, really, I think. Uh, it's just that you know, they kind of vary it. So that the first thing you do, the verse, is you just hit them once and you repeat it twice. So you go B flat minor to an F, da, 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 A flat to an E flat, wow, and then you repeat. And then the pre-chorus, which comes up three times in the song, but here it is, my patience is wa uh, waning. This is uh, the B flat minor. My patience is waning. And F chord is this entertaining? And then the A flat. Da, and, then, and then you're out for the measure. You don't go to the E flat chord there. You're out for a measure while he, you know, says, "Is this entertaining?" Now you're going to come in with the same progression that you did in the verse, but now you're going to do eighth notes. So like eight of them, all downs, like da 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 da. that far you've got it all because it just repeats that stuff over and over again. So the eighth note thing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All I'm doing is all downs with my thumb. And that's all you need. Because now the verse comes back just the way it did with a little repeat there. Then the pre-chorus, the uh, my patience is waning, that's that part comes in without the E flat. Then the chorus comes back in with the eighth notes of thing. Then you have the post chorus, which is the same chords. I don't know what's going on at this point, I forget, but it's just the same chords. It's only once through. Then you got the bridge, and during the bridge, you gotta go back to the one strum for each one of the chords, and you're gonna repeat it. So it's exactly like a verse. And then you repeat that. And then the pre-chorus comes back, that's my patience is waning, is this, and, and, and of course you leave out the E flat, then you're just back to your eighth notes, and you just ride out the rest of the song. And that's really all it is to it. We don't want to make it more complicated than it is, and, it just, and if you had to end the song, you probably end it on a B flat minor. I would think, I think they fade out, but I can't remember. But it's really a pretty simple song when you think about it. You know, you just have to, once you know the, the chords, it just repeats those chords for the whole song. Sometimes leaving the E flat out, and you just have to do the right strums for the right sections, you know. All right, please subscribe, hit that like button, and play more Ook.